Have you ever had ulcers before? Peptic ulcer disease is a condition in which open sores or ulcers form in the lining of the stomach or upper part of the small intestine called the duodenum. These ulcers can cause a variety of symptoms such as stomach pain, bloating, heartburn, nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite. The most common cause of peptic ulcer disease is infection with a bacteria called H. pylori. The second most common cause is overuse of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also called NSAIDs, like aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can impair healing and high levels of physiologic stress like a prolonged ICU state can also cause ulcers in some patients. Now, if not treated, complications of peptic ulcer disease can be serious and even life-threatening. The ulcers can cause bleeding, perforation of the stomach or intestine, or obstruction of the digestive tract. Bleeding ulcers require an EGD for diagnosis and treatment, and perforated ulcers can cause infection in the abdomen, leading to peritonitis and requiring emergency surgery. Treatment for peptic ulcer disease involves a combination of medications and lifestyle changes. The first step is to eliminate H. pylori infection, if present, with antibiotics. Then, acid-suppressing drugs like proton pump inhibitors or PPIs and H2 blockers are used to reduce the amount of acid produced by the stomach, which allows the ulcers to heal. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to treat complications of peptic ulcer disease, but since the development of PPIs, these surgeries are much less common. Peptic ulcer disease is a common condition that can cause significant discomfort and serious complications, but with proper treatment and management, most people with peptic ulcer disease can expect to achieve a good outcome and avoid serious complications. Comment below with questions and what disease I should discuss next.